Hi, I'm Jen Miller. Welcome to the Weighted Vest Workout. You're gonna love this workout because just by adding this upper body weight, you're adding intensity to your workout. You can wear it by itself without the added weight, or you can add weight for even more intensity. Now, before you get started, here's something you need to know. Make sure you've got plenty of room to work out, so you need clearance. Make sure you have water nearby because you're gonna sweat a little bit more because you're gonna be working harder. So you need to stay hydrated before, during, and after the workout. So whenever you get thirsty, drink. Don't wait for me to tell you. During the workout, I'm gonna give you a hard and a harder version of each exercise. All you have to do is choose the appropriate exercise for your fitness level. You can try the harder versions, and if they work for you, stick with it. If it's too tough for you, go back to the previous version. Remember, I want you to be the best judge of how you're working, so I want you to use our scale from one to 10. Think of working out on a graduating scale with one being just waking up from a nap and 10 being an all-out sprint. During the workout, you should be working somewhere between three and seven. If you're really pushing yourself, you may feel yourself edge up into eight. That's real high intensity. So be careful, work at your own pace, and enjoy this workout because it's for you, not for anybody else, okay? Now, when you put on your weighted vest, make sure you have it up on your shoulders and it is locked into place and snug. Make sure the belt's not twisted and make sure you have the appropriate amount of weight that you need for the workout. Remember, you can always add weight if it's too easy or take it away if it's too tough. All right, we're gonna start with a warm up. We'll move into the body of the workout and then I want you to make sure you cool down and do your stretches before you finish. If you're ready, I'm ready. So let's get to the warm up and get started. Okay guys, let's march right foot on the downbeat. Is everybody ready? We're gonna warm up. Here we go. Pump those arms like you mean it. Pick those feet up. Chest out, shoulders back, abs in. Looking good. Best posture you got. Stay with that. Keep pumping those arms. We're gonna warm up here for about five minutes doing this march. And I'm gonna talk to you a little bit while you're moving. Let me get that heart rate and respiration up. And then we're gonna take off into our really super simple circuit, I like to call it. We're gonna do some cardio, followed by some strength followed by this march or jog to kind of recover and transition to go into the next cycle. It'll be about eight cycles or so, and then we'll cool down, and we'll go into some core work, and then finally a slow stretch. All right, now while you're moving, remember the equipment you need. I am wearing a weighted vest. It's an eight pound weighted vest. Makes this routine advanced. You don't have to use a vest. You can do it without the vest. Sometimes adding body weight, if you are at your ideal body weight, can be really beneficial and take the intensity up. Also, I'm using a step platform for some of my strength segments, and I want you to know that you can use a chair, but I want you to make sure it's a good heavy chair and placed against the wall to brace you as you go in and out of these strength exercises using that surface. Abs are in, chest out, shoulders back. I've got a pair of dumbbells here and a towel or a mat if you have one to cushion your knees. Keep moving. Let's go a little lower. Let's go a little lower. There you go. You're gonna keep marching, bend your knees, and sit into it a little bit. Now look, when you flex your knees, which means bend, flex your knees, bend, you flex your hips, you get a little lower, it's a little harder, and that's good. And keep pumping your arm right there. Nice, you know, here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna turn a little bit so you can see me, and I'm gonna keep pumping my arms, and what I want you to do is quiet your feet in a second, hold them still, and just keep those arms pumping. Ready, here we go. Now I want you to pretend like you're running on a track, just using your arms, okay? Abs are in, again, don't bend over too far. Keep your chest lifted. Keep running, keep running. I'm gonna ask you to do an all out sprint with your arms, you ready? Go. Run like a minute. Use those arms, good. Breathe, breathe. In just a second, you're gonna get to that 100 meter dash. Let's see if I said 100 yard dash, I date myself. Keep going, eight more, seven, six, in four more, you're gonna resume your march with that right foot. Here we go. Bring it on back, bring it on back. Nice and tall, good. Chest out, shoulders back, breathe. <sighs> Recover, let's grab some air, inhale. Shrug your shoulders, exhale down, good. Do it again, inhale, and down. Let's go back to that march right here. So we're just warming up doing this march, and then we're gonna get into our first cardio. Nice. All right, remember, throughout the workout, Check the chart on your screen. That's gonna help you designate how hard you're working. You're your best judge. Scale of one to 10. You know what it is. One being nothing, 10 being everything. <laughs> so 
somewhere in the zone is where you want to be. To take the intensity up, you'll choose one of the versions that I'm going to give you to make the exercises harder or hardest. If it's not hard enough, go to the harder version. If it's too hard, bring it back down to an easier version. Remember, you can always come back to this march. Now what we're going to do is take the intensity of this warm up just a little bit by jogging in place right here. Now you don't have to do the jog, you can stay with the march. If you're doing the jog, try to keep it in place. And while you're jogging, stay there, keep that movement pattern. I'm going to show you where to put your equipment if it's not already there. I'm going to take my dumbbells, move them off to one side, and I'm going to take my towel, place it under my step. All right, are you ready for the first cardio section? I am too. We're going to bring it back down to a march right here. You guys ready? Bring it to a march right here. We're going to go out, out, in, in, very low. Here we go. Out, out. Right here. Now this is going to get cardio challenging in a minute because in four more, I'm going to ask you to take this up a notch by making it a run that goes out, out, in, in. Are you guys ready? Abs tight. Let's go. Out, out, in, in, out, out, in, in, out, out, in. That's it. Now you can keep the first version or you can stay with this. There you go. Good. That's it. All right. March or run it in place. Nice. Now, of course, we're going to have to do the other leg. So in four more, just give me a couple of squats right here. Ready? Four. There's three. In two more, you're going to take that left leg and march it out, out, in, in. You ready? Let's go. Out, out. Remember, you got to get low. Low she goes. That's going to put more flexion in your knees and hips. That means more bend when we say flexion. That makes it harder. That's it. In two more, let's run it. Out, out, in, in. Let's go. Out, out. That's it. Right there. Bring your hands out to the side. Whatever it takes for you to balance. Keep moving. That's it. That's it. Stay with that. Are you ready to march it out? Here we go. March it out. Good. If a march is good enough, stay there. If not, jog it. And breathe. All right. We're going into the strength portion. It's going to be push-ups. You'll need your towel or your mat if you're going to do them on your knees. Let's go there now. Turn around. Pull your towel out. Make sure it's folded properly, about three feet away from your platform. Hands on top of your platform, knees slightly apart, feet together, and let's go down. And bring it back up a little faster. Now your abs are pulled in, fingers are splayed, belly is drawn in, head, neck, chest, and shoulders in line with the spine. Nice job. Keep it pulled in. Let me have six more. Now remember, you only have to go down one inch if you want to. If you can go down further and come all the way up, that's great. Let me have two more. We're going to do two sets. Right here, you're going to rest. Press it back. Come to your feet or stay on your knees. Let's go again. Right here. Again. Abs nice and tight. Elbows bending to allow your chest to drop down. But don't arch your back. Keep everything nice and tight. And I know if you've got this weighted vest, that's a lot more work. Six. Breathe out on the hard part. Shh. Four, three, two more, last one, come on up, bring one foot in, scoot your towel in, back to the march. Okay, now if you want to just start jogging from this march, you can at any time. Remember, your march can be a jog or vice versa. Now just stay right here. You're going to keep jogging or marching. I'm going to show you the next move. It's called a crab walk. To do it, I'll make sure I have plenty of clearance on my floor and you do too. You keep marching and jogging and I'll show you five lateral walks with a knee lift. Watch. One, two, three, four, five. Lift. One, two, three, four, five. Keep watching me. I'm going to go faster. One, two, three, four, five. Lift. One, two, three, four, five. Lift. One, two, three, four, five. Lift. One, two, three. Now keep marching or jogging. Good. Now stay right here. What I want you to do is back up a little bit or forward wherever you have room, away from your chair or step. You need to move side to side. Keep it here. All right. We're going to start slow. So in four more, this side first, walk five. One, two, three, four, five. Lift. One, two, three, four, five. Let's go faster. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Now you gotta really pick up your feet when you're moving laterally on the floor. Because you can kind of stick like glue if you're not careful. 
So you really want to pick them up. Now, to make this move harder, I'm going to ask you to pick up your knees when you run. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Good. That's it. Nice. Now, add a leap right here. One, two, three, four, five. Hop. One, two, three, four, five. Hop. Did I say leap? I meant hop. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. Four more. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Last time, march it out right here. Come on over to your platform or your chair for tricep dips. I'm going to come over to one end and have a seat. I'm going to put my hands against the corners of the seat or the back of your platform. Take it down and up. Elbows point back. Feet in front, knees behind the ankle. Keep going. Stay with that. Nice. Keep your abs in. Keep your hips close to the back of the platform. And as you go down and up, make sure you don't go all the way down because you don't need to. Point your elbows back. Good. To make it harder, come up on your heels. Bring your feet out a little further away. Nice job. Let me have four more. That's it. Here's three. Two more. Last one. Hold it and sit. Take a deep breath. Exhale. One more time. Inhale and exhale. Got a second set coming. Hands here again. Step out. This time, if you want to make it hard S, put your feet pretty far away. Keep your hips close right here. Down and up. That's it. Good. Stay with that. Abs are pulled in. Elbows point back. Breathe. Good. Nice. Can you give me a couple more? Here's one. Here's another one. Hold it. Walk it back. Have a seat. Stand up. March it out right here. Beautiful. Keep marching. Stay with that. Good. Jog if you like right here. That's it. Nice. All right. You're doing great. You're into the third cycle. We're recovering here a little bit. Walking it out. Marching it. Or jogging it. If you were just walking it out, it would look like this. Keep what you're doing. We just kind of just move your heel up and down. You could be punky. Okay, but if you're marching, you're pumping your arms. And if you're jogging, it's like that. You got three choices on the recovery as well as the transition. Keep going. All right, our next cardio move is going to be a squat thrust. You keep marching or jogging, watch me. I'm going to start with my feet apart, chair or bench here. You're going to go down and jack your feet together three times. Keep marching or jogging, watch. Down. Here's three. Two, one, and then you come up. March it out right here. All right? I'm going to ask you to go over with me. Are you ready? Right here. Legs apart. Go down. Feet in and out three times. Two more. One more. Stand up. Good. Do it again. Down. Here's three. Here's two. And stand up. Now, you keep doing that. If you want an option, you can go down to a plank, lift right. Lift left, legs apart and stand up. Keep doing what you're doing. I'm showing you the option. If you don't want impact, okay, it's just a plank with a leg lift. Good. Here's a harder version, down. Here's what I'm gonna do, do two push-ups at the bottom and then come on up. Good, I'm gonna do it again. Here's two push-ups. And those are the three ways you can do a squat thrust. March it out, left leg, right here. Breathe. now. I'm going to ask you to go to your squat thrust, choose any version you've just seen, and we're going to do that. It's sort of an extra little cardio punch. You guys ready? I'm going to start with my legs apart. Right here. Here we go. Down. Three. Use your belly to pull your legs up. Stand up. Clap. Do it again. Down. Here's three. Two. One. Come on up. Good. Do it again. Down. Here's three. Two more. Bring it up. And again. Now remember, if you want one of the harder versions, you can do the push-up or even the push-up with one leg. You've got four more to go, so here's an option for you. Watch. That's really hard. Legs out. And if you jump in, even tougher. Okay? You decide. And then right here. When you jump in, that adds an extra jump. Good. Right here. You got one more. Beautiful. Again. 
right here. March or jog it out. Woohoo! <sighs> We're gonna do a strength version. Get your towel, put it on top of your platform. Okay? This is a sideline hip lift. Put the towel down. You're gonna come down briefly. Put one elbow on right here. Top leg bent, bottom leg straight. Lift up and down. Lift. That's for your core. Breathe. Nice. Keep going. Stay with it. Beautiful. Keep it. Now when I change sides, I'm gonna be going over to this side. You guys can just flip over if you want. I want you to keep this. And we have two more. Are you ready? Hold it. I'm gonna go to the other side, bring my knee down. I'm just gonna step over, put my arm on my towel, step back, top leg bent, bottom leg straight, sink down and then push up. What's important here is you lift into the shoulder. Don't sink into the shoulder. You can feel it on the bottom of your waistline. These are called the lateral flexors. Some people say, oh, that's love handles. <laughs> love handles are what's your stored fat, actually. So right there, I'm gonna tighten up that area. Beautiful. Nice. Then we have a couple more. Hold it. Good, bring that knee down. Put your towel back where you got it. Stand up, return to the march. Beautiful. Stay there, how you doing? You can jog if you want. Remember, that's your option. So you have all kinds of things you can do and all kinds of choices. If you're checking that chart on your screen, you know how hard you're working. You wanna take it up a notch or you wanna pull it down. It's your choice. So keep this, recover a little bit, and just take some deep breaths as you stay with this. Good. All right, our next new cardio move, the football run. The football run looks like this. Keep marching or jogging. Looks like that. You know it. <laughs> All right, we're going to go there. Are you guys ready? Ready? Let's go. Right here. Stay here. Stay here. Good. You're picking those feet up. Your knees are bent. Hands are sort of in front of you to counterbalance. Now, if you wanted to, you can move your hands. Give yourself a little movement pattern on the top of your body. Keep you from getting too bored. Give you a little variety. If you come down a little further, you gotta point your toes straight ahead and bend your knees. Beautiful. Stay with it. Good. Nice job, nice job. Let me have two more. One more. March it out, right leg. Woo! -hoo. Breathe. For the strength section, we're gonna do a plank. We're gonna go down into that push-up position. Get your towel. In this position, I want you to just roll your towel out so you have good cushioning for your elbows. You can take one elbow and then the other. Step back, hold your legs up, micro bend in the knee, tap out right here. Tap, tap, tap. And what you're doing is you're holding your core still. That means you're holding your middle muscle still and just taking your feet out side to side. Keeping your belly pulled in and breathing. Let's slow it down, it's harder. Here, that's it, abs tight. Now to make this hard S, guys, all you have to do is sweep the leg without touching. Here, here, good, that's it. Let me have two more, here's one, here's two. Good, come on back down, put your towel or mat back where you got it, stand up, march it out, right leg. Beautiful. All right, I want you to check out my feet here for a second. As I march here, or jog, or run, I want you to keep those feet lifting up. All right, make sure you're drinking your water. Get a drink now, keep moving, when we come back, we're gonna finish. Okay guys, we are moving into the next segment. Keep the march, or the jog. And I hope you had a nice little sip of water there as you came back, maybe wipe some of that sweat off. Doing great. I want you to keep moving here. I'm going to show you the next segment, which is jump rope. Now, while you're marching or jogging, I want you to look at my feet, okay? Look closely at my heels here. When you're jump roping, if you wanted to, you don't even have to lift your feet off the ground. You could just lift your heels. 
So in four more, let's go to that. Are you ready? Jump rope right here. Just twirl that rope in your hand, picking up your heel, and that's about as hard as you want to work at level one. Level two, go ahead and pick your feet up. You've got a little room under your feet to pass that rope. Level three, you have your hands here. And what I'm going to have you do is start skiing side to side. But before I do that, I want you to glue your knees and your ankles and your inner thighs together. Are you ready? <laughs> side to side, right here. Nice. Good. Keep those knees and those ankles glued together. Now, if you want to make it even harder, all you have to do is take this tempo and double time it. So stay or go. Right there. You're going to bend your knees a little bit more. Think about those moguls. I'm going over those moguls. Stay with it. Good. Keep it. Nice. Eight more seconds. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. March it out. Right leg. Breathe. Ha, ha, ha. Good. Recover here for just a second. We're going to do rows. I want you to go and get your weight. Pick it up with your right hand. So you're going to move to one side. Pick up your weight. Put one weight down on your platform or your chair. Take the other weight in your hand. One foot up. One hand here. You're going to row. Row. So that is how you start. You slip your heel off and pull back a little further. You'll feel this. Now remember, if you're using the floor and not using a platform, one foot in front of the other. You wouldn't use the chair on this. You keep your foot on the floor. In four more, especially if you have a light weight, I'm going to ask you to open it up and punch it toward the sky for the last six. Looks like this. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two more. Last one, put that weight down. And I want you to come back here and go back to your jog or march. Now stay right here for just a second. You're going to recover from that strength. And then we're going to go back into the jump rope again. You ready? Here we go. Jump rope again. Beautiful. Remember this is where you, the three ways you can do this. Just lifting your heels, lifting your whole foot, or side to side. So if you're wanting to go side to side, do it now. If you want to glue your ankles, knees, and inner thighs together, That'll be fine too, because we're getting ready to take the tempo up. Are you ready? Let's go. There you go. Stay with it now. You can do any of the versions I've just showed you. The faster you go, the more side to side you go, the harder it is. You gotta pick up those feet. Good. Stay with it. Nice. It's like you have a mold in front of you. Abs are tight. Don't bend over from the back. Just a little forward flexion at the hips. Keep your knees bent. In four more, you're going to march it out. Ready? Here we go. Breathe. Let's go back to the rows. Other arm. Pick up your weight. Put your other foot on the platform or the floor and pull. Right here. One hand is here. Stay here. Nice. Beautiful. Pull. Good. Now remember, your back leg is perched mostly sideways front leg gets most of the weight. You're drawing from the front back past the hip. Nice. In two more, I want you to pull and reach for the sky. Tighten your core right here. Ready? Pull. Nice. Pull. Now remember, if you're up on the platform, maybe your heels dropped off a little bit. Four more. Three. Two. One. Good. Go back to the march right here. Nice job. Stay with that and go to the jog if you'd like. Right here, beautiful. I want you to take some deep breaths. You're recovering here. One of the neat ways you can do a row is by perching yourself on top of both weights and alternating a row while you're in a push-up position. Check it out in the window here. It's kind of cool. You could do that for both. The row on the right, you could do that. And then the row on the left, you can repeat that. It's a harder version, and if you have the weighted vest, it really challenges you. Good. Stay with that. Keep jogging your marching. Our next move you all know is jumping jack. I'm going to give you the version of the jumping jack that I know you can do. Keep jogging. Keep marching. Watch. Here. If you get low and do this, 
that's enough of a jumping jack, okay? So that's gonna be the low impact version. And in eight more, I want you to join me here. Keep jogging, keep running. In four more, I want you to come with me. Let's do it now. Here, that's it. Good, now, if I wanted to make it a little tougher, I would do this, a little heel dig, right there. That's a little tougher. If I want to make it tough as, go into a full jack. Here, that's it. Nice, knees micro soft. A little bit bent, abs in, good. Nice, try to relax your neck. Don't clench your jaw, keep your elbows bent too. Nice, breathe. Remember you have options for this jack. Stay with it. Anytime you get tired, you can just jog or march in place. Stay with that. To make this jumping jack a little harder, you could reach and reach. Reach, 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 reach. That's it. Nice. Give me a four. Here's three. Two. Last one. March ride. Go right there. How you doing? Keep it going, or jog. You're going into the strength part, which is the bicep curl. Pick up both your weights. Right here, marching it. Bicep curl, right, left. Right, left. Now I want you to keep moving your legs so you don't abruptly stop the cardio. Palm comes up, that's it. And two more. Keep your feet quiet, continue the curl. Pull. I like to bend my knees just a little bit. Take the stress out of the lower back in case you want to throw the weight for one reason or another because you're not thinking for a half a second. You bend your knees, it protects your back. In four more, I want you to give me both arms at the same time if you can. Squat a little lower, ready? Both arms here, okay? To make this even harder, instead of coming all the way up to the top of the shoulders, come three quarters, right here. Hardest one right there, breathe. That's it. Nice job. Good. Keep going. That's it. Good, 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 good. Have you got six? Let's get six. Come on out of that squat. Five. Four. Abs in, chest out. Shoulders pull back. Last one. Oh, yeah. Put those weights back where you got them. Okay, I'm going to put them right here and right here. You always have a flat part to your weight, usually, and that keeps it from rolling wherever you're putting it. Keep marching. <sighs> Breathing. The next move is gonna be a forward lunge with scissors. Keep marching. You could be jogging now, too. I'm gonna demonstrate the move while you keep this one. Okay, just watch me. It's one lunge, watch. Lunge and lunge, like that. But instead of just lunging forward, we're gonna lunge and press three times. Looks like this. Three, two, one, are you jogging? Are you marching? Just watching right now. Now watch, I'm gonna make it harder by doing this, watch. When I change, I'm gonna scissor twice and then lunge again and scissor twice. Keep jogging or marching right here. All right, are you ready to join me on that lunge scissor? Remember, forward step way out. The deeper you go in the lunge, the harder it's gonna be. So you decide. All right, are you ready? Right leg first, three presses. Three, two, just step back. Left leg, now look at that knee, it should be over the ankle, don't let it shear forward over the foot. That means you really have to dig out with the heel first. Hands come in front to counterbalance, belly's pulled in. Are you ready? Three presses. Now you give me two scissors when you come out of it, just two babies, right here. Two babies, three, two, two babies, good, three. That's harder than the original version you were just doing, so you decide. Keep doing this, I'm gonna show you how to make it hardest. Add a little air then the scissors, okay? You wanna try that with me? Here we go, three. Gotta keep the line of resistance just perfect. Don't let the knee shear out over the foot. Don't go too low. Stay with it, come on. Three, two, one, sizzle. Three, two, one, sizzle. Three, two, one, good. Three, two, last time, march it out. Here we go, breathe, more jog. We're going into strength, which has been over rows. Come on over, get your weights. Keep moving for a second. Brace them on your legs. You're gonna forward bend. I'll turn to the side, pull right, left. Right, left. Good, right. Breathe. Nice. 
chest out, shoulders back, rear shoulders here. Keep this to make it harder, both arms. Pull, pull. Now where I really felt the vest today was on the cardio section, as well as the push-ups and the planks. So you may not feel as much intensity on the body weight exercises if you're not using the vest, which is exactly as it should be. When you add the body weight, that's when it gets tough. Now if you're trying to lose weight and you have some excess body weight and you're not at your ideal weight, I don't think you need to use the vest. Six more, six. Once you get to your ideal weight and you want to take it up, try the vest at the lowest weight. Two more. Last one. Hold it, bring it up slowly. Put your weights back down. March in place. We're gonna recover from that. Breathing. Once again, inhale, exhale. Now I want you to check the chart on your screen. And I want you to see if you're coming down from the higher intensity feeling to a lower intensity as we finish this cool down. So you're gonna keep marching here at the heart rate and the respiration drop. And you stay here for a couple of minutes. Shake those arms out in forward circle. Breathe, no jogging, just marching. Good, shake those arms down low, down low. Good. We're gonna do some heel digs with the arm shakes. Heel dig, heel. There you go, good. Now, just twist your hands, breathe. How's that heart rate? How's that respiration? Did it come down yet? Good, knees up. Here, little windshield wiper, low wipers, low rain, just drizzling. Good, stay with it. <laughs> nice and tall, abs in. All right, bring those arms down by your side. Keep lifting those heels. Nice, four more. Now easy, slow march right here. Slow, slow, slow. That's it. All right, how's that heart rate and respiration? Coming down. Take a few more breaths. All right, keep going. Slow arms right here, slow arms. Hold the feet, arms cross in front, cross, back, cross. Good. A little cool air. You're helping, the, you're, you're, you're a human fan. You're helping the air cool you off. Two more. All right, right here. Shake it out. We are going to core. Come on. Okay, we're gonna do some core work. What I want you to do is move one of your dumbbells out of the way, and if you're on your chair, move them to the floor. You're gonna have a seat at the end of your chair or at the end of the platform, and I'm gonna have a seat on my towel. You wanna make sure that you're seated at the very end of your platform or your chair, and your heels are dug into the floor. Your hands are up in front of you. One leg at a time, you're gonna lift, and then the other leg comes up. So you're here, holding tight, abs pulled in. Now very slowly reach underneath your legs, lift your chest and hold, pull your abs in, keep breathing. This is your holding position, core is working. Let's drop just your right leg, drop and catch, then the left. Keep your chest lifted, so you're tapping your toe each time. Now to make this harder, all you have to do is not tap your toe. Keep it just above the ground, lean back a little bit further, so that you feel that a little bit more. Keep your chest lifted. Here's two. Last one. Hold it. And one leg at a time. Come down. Sit. Take a deep breath. Exhale. We're going to make it a little harder on the next set. Same position, but this time, instead of holding your legs, if you want to challenge yourself, try not holding your legs. So you come back, get into the position, bring your arms up, and then back here. Make a little prayer position behind your head. Drop here, drop right, and drop left. Now what I like to do is turn my knee out slightly, and all that does is help me keep from working my hip flexors. 
I want to work my core instead of my hip flexors. Hip flexors are there near the top of the quadricep. Kind of connects your legs to your hips. You want to use the belly. There you go. Two more. Last one. Right here. Hold it and come down. Now, if you have a weighted vest, remember that's a lot of extra weight in the upper body as you lean back. So you may want to take your vest off for this. If you feel tension in the back any time during these exercises, sit up a little taller and do the previous version, the not so hard version. Now I'm going to do the advanced version. Watch. I'm going to get one weight, place it in two hands. Lean back, weight up, elbows here. Okay, now what I'm going to do is start a tricep extension. Lean back, lift one leg, and hold. Good. Two more, and then you switch to the other leg. That's it. Abs are pulled in tight, sitting up tall. Good. Let me have a couple more here. Now, how about both legs? Ooh, balance act. Nice. Elbows close. Six more. Six. Pull your belly in. Sit tall. Tug of war here. Four. Three. Two more. Last one. Hold it up. One leg, then the other here. Deep breath. Exhale. We're going to go into a cool down while you're seated. I'm going to have you stretch your quadriceps. One more deep breath here. Exhale. All right, for the cool down, you're going to be in a seated position. I'm going to put my dumbbell back where I had it. And you're going to sit side saddle. You're going to grab the back of one shoe and pull your heel toward your buttocks right there. So you're just pulling your heel toward your, butt, toward your buttocks. And I want you to just squeeze your hip bowl under slightly and draw the leg toward the chair or the platform. Stay there. Take one more deep breath. Exhale. Feel the front of your thigh stretch out. That's quadriceps. Four muscles there. That's why they call them quadriceps. And they, those get so tight because your hip flexors are the biggest muscle of your body. And they pull on those. All right, bring it back. Sit tall. Take another breath. Side saddle the other way. Right there. Reach back. Get your laces. Pull your heel toward your buttocks. Drop your knee down. Now watch. Tuck your pelvic bowl under. Squeeze that heel to your buttocks. Not too hard, don't force it. You wanna feel the tension in the front of the thigh. Nice, keep your abs pulled in. Relax the front leg so you can keep good solid tension on the back leg. The more you tuck the pelvic bowl under, the more you're gonna feel that down the quadriceps. And at the bottom of those quadriceps, you've got the connections right there at that wonderful joint, the knee joint. <laughs> Only goes one way when it bends. Love that. All right, come on back, lift it, release it. Come on back, take a deep breath. Exhale. Next move, hamstring. Drop one leg out, pitch your chest forward, and lean. Stay right there, I want you to fire the quadriceps. That means I want you to engage them and tighten them on the count of three. One, two, three, tighten them. Stay there, you can pull the toe back toward the shin. Might feel a little calf stretch there. Two more. Good, and come on back. Four beats of music for one, one count. <laughs> Other leg, lean forward. Remember, undulate and pitch. Stay there, good. Pull that toe back toward that shin, lean forward. You're gonna feel the stretch under there. Now, if you tighten that quadricep, it helps the hamstring feel safe so it'll let go and engage in that stretch. Stay there, lean a little forward, push those hips back, keep the chest lifted, and you get a good stretch back there. That's it. Come on up. All right, I'm going to stand up, and when I do, I want you to remember to turn around and make sure that your chair is pressed against the wall. I'm going to use the platform for this next stretch. So, I want you to stretch your calves. And to do that, all you have to do is put your hands on the platform or the chair seat and step back. And I just want you to walk ever so slowly and knead those heels into the floor. Drop your head down, take a look at what you're doing. One thing you don't want to do here is force your heels down. You just want to shift your weight and sort of knead the back of your legs toward the floor. Remember to keep that chair against the wall, hands on the seat or around the sides of the seat, braced well. Good. Walk your feet up just a little bit as you feel those calves sort of loosen up. And then two more. 
You're gonna stand in a forward bend. Press your chest toward your legs and feel that stretch across the chest, upper back, lats, and shoulders. Good, bend your knees, place your hands on your thighs, come on up slow, then drop down. Come on up slow. This is a low back limbering stretch. Kind of just gets those muscles to loosen up in that low back. Let me have one more. Come all the way up. Keep your chin dropped. Shake your hands in circles. Bring it back to the front. Four more. Here's three. Two more. Last one. All right, take your hands, lace them loosely. Bring them up slowly. Inhale with a deep breath. Slide your hands back. Look up, open your chest. Tip or tilt your pelvic bowl under. Open those elbows up. Enjoy that stretch. Inhale and exhale. Good, shake it out. Drop those shoulders. Get yourself a nice drink of water. Enjoy the rest of your day and make sure you eat within about an hour of this workout. Your muscles will thank you because it replenishes their energy. I'll see you next time. I'm Jen Miller. Thanks for coming.